You may not think it's possible, but I'm here to tell you that it is possible to purchase one paintbrush and be able to use it hundreds of times over the course of years, perhaps even an entire lifetime. It's possible to do that with one paintbrush if you do the three things that I'm going to tell you and show you in this video. Now this paintbrush right here is one that I purchased two years ago. I bought it after I learned what I'm going to teach you in this video. And I have used this paintbrush at least 50 times, probably closer to 100 times. I'm always painting around my house. Recently I painted these porch posts and the woodwork above me. I painted the door. I painted the siding on either side of the door. I painted a deck in the backyard that I'll be showing in a future video. I'm always painting through the summer and fall and this has been used, like I said, 50 to 100 times. I've washed it like I'm going to show you in this video. This brush is as clean as the day I bought it. Now there's a couple of things that you need to know before I tell you how to clean a brush. First, buy the best quality paintbrush you can afford. Price is usually an indicator of quality. Buy the best quality paintbrush you can afford. Second, never, never, never loan your paintbrush to anyone else because no one's going to clean it with the care and with the technique and system that I'm about to show you. All right, keep those two things in mind. And now let me show you how you clean a paintbrush so that it will last you a lifetime. All righty, so before you can clean a brush, you've got to get it full of paint. And I'm not going to show me painting, but I want to give you some perspective here. I'm going to put a second coat of this uh, Sherwin-Williams Russet Red from Lowe's, very good quality paint. I'm going to put a second coat on this uh, door casing, the door jam, and that window over there, then we'll clean the brush. And I want to tell you something, it's a little off topic, but th this door, this opening, was not here a week ago. It was just blank wall. And I put this in here for a reason. And I'm going to show you at the very end of this video, if you're curious, what's on the other side of this door. I think you will be kind of amazed. Alrighty, here we are. I'm going to wash this brush here at my kitchen sink. I actually prefer to wash paintbrushes outdoors. I have an outdoor sink, but uh, for this demonstration, I'm doing it inside. And I have used this paintbrush here for about half an hour. That's half an hour's worth of paint residue in the bristles. If I had used this for a couple of hours, I would have more. It would be uh, down into here. And here's an important point. If you're going to be using a brush for a long time, like more than an hour and a half, after an hour and a half, just stop, wash the brush, and then continue painting so that you don't get uh, too much of the paint down into the base of the bristles. Also, very important, Uncle Pete made this very clear to me, don't let this set anywhere for more than five minutes. As soon as you're done with it, basically, go and wash it like I'm about to show you. Very important, get it washed. Now, since I have a septic system here and I don't want any more paint than I have to uh, let go down the drain, I'm going to take a plastic bag here and I'm just gonna squeeze out some of the paint into the bag. And I don't do this when I'm outdoors, at my outdoor sink, but I'll do it in here, all right? So that's less paint going down the drain. Now, step one, I'm just gonna uh, tap the brush like that and get about half of the paint out of it. And half of the paint is kind of a uh, subjective thing, but we're pretty close right there. Get the, all right. Yeah, we got about half of it out of there. And you can see the dried paint that we have right here. That's typical. And we've got it onto here, got it here. That's typical, especially more typical if you use your paintbrush for longer. All right, we've, we, you can see the water's mostly clear. I'm done with that part. Now here we got a little detergent. I'm gonna put, this is important, I'm gonna put a, a dab of it on there and work it in. And I'm really loading it up. You could say, hey, you don't need all that, but yeah, I do. And I'm working it in. 
get that soap in there, that detergent soap. Then, don't get the water to it yet, take a bristle brush like this, little scrub brush, little vegetable brush, and, and work, work the uh, bristles, work the brush over the bristles like you see right there. Maybe, maybe we can see better here, like go like that. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna turn the brush on its edge and get the side. Now I'm obviously not going this way, going with the bristles. And I'll do this for a bit, depending on how much paint, how much cleaning needs to be done. Not running water on it yet, just bristling it, bristling it with the brush. Okay, so there we go. Now we'll get the water over here. And we'll do the same thing, that, that, up, and, that up and down dabbing thing here. All right, now I don't know if you can see it, but I've got a little dried paint here, here. We've got this paint here, which will come right off. I like to keep the ferrule, this metal part, clean. Not so worried about the handle. Uh, and it's not necessary to keep the ferrule clean, but I like to do that. It'll come right off. All right, so I'm uh, rinsing, rinsing, rinsing. And then, next step, and sometimes this step is more important than other times. This has actually come out quite, quite clean. But the next step, regardless of how clean it is, I got a finer bristle, brass bristle brush, brass bristle brush, brass bristle brush, <laughs> and I'm going to work, work this brush in there, like this, on those dry, dry uh, bits of paint that are still in there. All right, these brushes are available at Lowe's or Home Depot. They aren't expensive. Keep these with your, with your paintbrush, along with a little detergent, and you're, you're ready to go. You're ready to clean. And you just take as much time doing this as is needed to get it clean. We'll give it a little rinse here. You notice we still had soap residue in there for this uh, brass bristle brush. Um, I'm gonna inspect it. That's looking very good. Looking very good, but uh, I tend to be overly careful when it comes to cleaning this out. Just comb it out, brush it out, comb it out. You get the idea, and I think I've got it here. So now I'm going to give it a final rinse, get the water going. This brush is as clean as when I bought it. I suppose if you got a microscope out and you looked at the bristles, it wouldn't be as clean, but it's clean. And if I were outdoors, I would give this a, a slap, slap, slap against something and get most of the water out, but it's not necessary. I kind of give it a shape here. I could take a paper towel and get some of the moisture out, but I'm not going to worry about it. That's it. I can hang this up, set it, set it somewhere, let it dry, and uh, even if it's not dry, if I'm using a water base, uh, it'll be dry enough probably by the time I need it. Okay, so there you go, folks. That's how to wash and take care of your lifetime paintbrush compliments of Uncle Pete and me. Hey! Come on in, you're gonna be amazed. There we go. You're looking at an amazing unfinished house edition. I started that edition right there years ago. I don't even know how many years ago it was. It's in process. Good things take time, little by slow, and you're doing it yourself and not going into debt. This is gonna be a half bath, a downstairs half bath, like a guest bathroom. We don't have a bathroom downstairs. People have to go upstairs, and uh, this is going to be kind of nice when it's done. I got to get a floor in here. I got to get walls. I got to get electrical inspection. I got a lot of stuff to do, but that gives you more perspective here. It's winter, and I have a little bit more time, time that I don't have in the summer, and I'm, I'm making some progress. This door opening into that half bath is 
part of that progress. Okay, thanks again for watching, everyone. See you in the next one.